How to Meditate, Lesson 5. Today we look at the best time and position for your meditation, as well as how long and how often you should meditate. But we'll do that after we practice some stillness meditation. And remember, stillness meditation is a 10-minute practice that I do twice a day. It consists of a five-minute period of concentration where we hold a spot in our mind's eye, followed by a five-minute stillness or absence of thought practice. I use the Insight Timer, the free version, and I set up a simple timer for 10 minutes with one bell after five minutes. We will begin with saying Reverend Bradley's request. This is a simple prayer that allows us to um, set up a ritual or a routine that reminds our body that we are getting ready to do our meditation. Open, O blessed spirit, the spiritual eyes of my soul, that I may be released from the darkness overspreading me by the delusions of the outward senses, that I may perceive and understand those things spiritual.
complete your meditation. And as you complete your meditation, allow yourself to remain in this quiet place of receptivity, a place of thinking tranquility, a place I like to call or think of as the eye of the storm. And whether that storm is your outside world or your inner world of anxiety and stress and overthinking and uncontrolled emotions. In the wake of your meditation, your mind is quiet. You're, you're training your brain to do what you want it to do. And by so doing, allowing yourself to consciously choose to reprogram, recreate, and reinvent who you are, why you're here, and where you're going. For most of us, those questions had answers that were given to us by those who uh, raised us who thought they knew better. In today's How to Meditate Lesson 5, we're going to look at the best time and position for meditation, as well as how long and how often to meditate. The best time to meditate is when you've got time. For me, I meditate in the morning and in the evening. Some meditation practices you only do once a day. So the best time when you start is the time that works when you can carve it out, when you don't feel rushed and you can just sit down and do it. It's like going to the gym. There's a time that works and there's all the times that don't. You have to consciously choose and pick a time. For me, I meditate in the morning. Right after I wake up, I wake up, I pee, I meditate. I meditate in the evening sometime before I go to bed, sometimes just as I get into bed. The reason that I practice meditation twice a day is simply this. In the beginning of the day, it helps me look forward at the day. It helps me to create a plan and a basically allows me to look forward at the day and see where I may or may not need help or assistance or have opportunities. Meditating right after you wake up is different than meditating after a long day. After a long day, you've got all the trials and tribulations that happened during that day, all the good things and bad things. And in the evening, I look at meditation as being like the armchair quarterback, uh, reviewing the game field, film, see what worked, see what didn't work, and what I need to improve. And then I use my sleep to help my subconscious mind start to solve those problems. So the best time, when you can. The next best time, when it works. And then the preferred time is once in the morning and once in the evening. When looking at the best position for meditation. Um, I don't really have a best position. Uh, stillness meditation is not a strict posture meditation. Some of them are, and if you're engaged in a strict posture meditation, you want to adhere to those rules and guidelines and play by their rules of the game. They are there for an intended purpose. My intended purpose for stillness meditation is help to improve my spirituality. And the gateway to my spirit is my mind, which takes its seat in my brain. So it's less important how I sit in which position than it is for me to be able to train my brain to do what I want when I want it to, thus allowing my mind to connect that, that gap or that uh, horizon between my spirit and my body. So I sit right now, I'm sitting in a, a chair that, that works for me. I happen to be cross-legged. It's nothing significant about that. It just allows me to be positioned. Uh, you want your back to be relatively straight, but not rigid. And you want your head to be kind of in a comfortable position where it's kind of balanced and not, not too far forward, not too far back, where it basically has no stress or equal stress in the front and the back of your neck. So that's the basic position for a stillness meditation practice. A couple other things about the physical, you don't want it to be too bright or too dark when you first start out. You don't want to wear any clothes that are too um, binding. You want it to be kind of loose and comfortable. And most importantly, you want to make sure there's no recurrent noise, like a, a clock ticking. 
uh, your mind will pay attention to that tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, and you'll allow it. It'll be very difficult to um, allow yourself to let go of the last parts of your consciousness to drift into stillness. That's also the reason we don't recommend music. So that's the best time and the best position. Now, how long and how often to meditate? How long depends on the practice and the intention of the practice. So stillness practice, 10 minutes twice a day, five minutes of focused thought where we hold an image in our mind's eye to the exclusion of all other thoughts. Five minutes of stillness, absence of thought, no thinking. We do this twice a day, once in the morning for me and once in the evening. Your other meditation practices have different intentions, different focuses, and different outcomes. So follow the instructions of your instructor. And 20 minutes seems to be a very good amount of time to devote to the practice from what I've seen. So that'll let you know basically how long to meditate. And I've also addressed through this how often I meditate every day, twice a day. Now, why is this? Remember, my goal, my intention, the purpose for stillness meditation for a spiritualist, a psychic, a healer, and a medium is to allow myself to quiet my mind, to erase any thoughts from my mind, to be an open, receptive vessel for intuitive knowing, psychic knowing, mediumship communication, and to allow my mind to create the thoughts and thought forms needed to heal. The way I found to do that is, I'll call it high-intensity meditation. It allows me to focus my attention very quickly. It allows me to quiet my mind and clear my mind very quickly. Right now, going from a dead run in life, I can get still probably in 45 seconds. A couple of deep breaths in. Let it down as I let it down. I let my consciousness flow down. And I can get that quiet, still place of knowing so I can access my intuition, so I can access my healing control, mental control enough to heal. I can access my spirit guides and teachers as needed. This comes with practice. This comes after 30 years. This comes with deliberate intent. Look at what you want to accomplish. Stillness meditation for me is the best meditation for psychics, mediums, and healers. Some other meditation can help you with other types of issues. All meditation ultimately tries to reach stillness. The most efficient way I've found to reach stillness on a regular, consistent basis is through a stillness meditation practice. So that's it. The best time, when you can. The best position for stillness, comfort. How long? 10 minutes, twice a day, which is also how often. That's it. How to meditate, lesson five. The best time and position how long and how often. If you enjoyed this video, if you like the content, if you learned something, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down. We need to know. We're trying to learn how to teach spiritual lessons using online video rather than live and in person. If you're brand new here, hit subscribe. Hit the little bell so you never miss one of our spiritual lessons to help you excel your psychic and healing abilities. Until next time, my highest blessings.